All right, Whitey, well, congrats on the win. Big win for you and the boys. What are you guys seeing out there on the ice? Uh, I think that was probably their best we've seen so far. Uh, we matched their intensity in the first two periods as honestly up and down kind of momentum shifts here and there, but uh, kind of like what we've been talking about, just shift by shift and period by period, and we were uh, able to find one there early in the third and just kind of feed off of that. So another big night for your line. Uh, you and Reed are kind of going back and forth there. Just walk me through what you were seeing on your goal and then your assist to him. Uh, well, my goal, I uh, <laughs> kind of don't remember. I think we cycled it a couple times and uh, we were in the zone for a bit there and I saw uh, Petey just get the puck and I just kind of yelled at him and he made a gross backhand sauce and I closed my eyes and shot the puck. <laughs> <laughs> so you weren't even looking at No, that. no. And then, then on his goal, um, we've been running uh, control breakouts like that all year and we're just trying to get a break and finally uh, he beat his guy up the ice and I, I just was able to put in an area for him to make a nice play and good shot by him. So we got a quick turnaround now. You guys got to be in Tulsa on Sunday. Just what's the key going into these next two games? Uh, well, we can't change a thing. Uh, we got to find a way to get energized again, get rid of the jet lag. Um, so tomorrow's a crucial travel day for us. Do whatever it takes uh, to be ready to go su Sunday night. All right, Reader. Well, congrats on the win. Uh, big win for you the boys. What were you guys seeing out there on the ice? Yeah, I think uh, uh, the first two periods were uh, pretty neck and neck. And, uh, uh, we knew that they were going to bring their their all, and uh, and uh, I thought we did the same. And third period, we uh, we got, we got a uh, got the first one, and uh, we know that that that's huge uh, in this series. And uh, we just kept going. So another great night for your line. We were kind of talking to Whitey about it already, but you guys kind of went back and forth there. Walk me through your goal to start us off scoring, and then that that pass to Whitey. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, I think our line's getting some good chemistry together right now, and. Uh, uh, the goal, it was, a, it, was a, it was a nice play by Whitey, and he hit me with speed, and uh, the defenseman was flat-footed. I went around him and uh, uh, kind of shot at a uh, top glove. And then uh, for the other one, uh, we, were, we were just cycling. Uh, we, had, we had a good cycle going, and uh, heard, heard Whitey uh, call for it uh, back door, so I just kind of threw it there and uh, luckily uh, hit him. So you guys got a quick turnaround now. We got to, he's going to play Tulsa on Sunday. What's the key going into these next two games for you guys? Yeah, I think uh, just bring the same energy. I think uh, every every game is is uh, we we uh, play like a, it's a game seven. Uh, it's a do or die, and, and I, I know for a fact that uh, none of none of us want to go home right now. So uh, uh, we bring uh, our, our A game every every game, and I think we'll be fine. All right, coach. We'll congrats on the win. Uh, first and foremost, what are your thoughts on the game? I thought we played really well. Um, you know, both teams showed a little fatigue at points, um, and then we had real good pushes. Um, they had some good pushes, and both teams were doing a real good job weathering some storms, I thought. So, um, you know, for us to come out flying in the third, it was important that we collected ourselves in that second intermission. And I thought uh, we really came out flying. We were on a mission, and um, once uh, Reader got us going there with that nice goal, um, you know, we really uh, put the pedal down, and it was a good period. You know, three goals in the first period on uh, Wednesday, three goals in the third period today. You know, you talked a little bit about that after the game, but, you know, how important is it to just jump on those chances when you get Yeah, you know what? You have to be resilient because you don't know when they're going to come. Um, and we had some real good looks in the first two periods too, um, including – uh, a couple crossbars in the second. You know, maybe one of those goes in and now you're one nothing, one to third. Didn't happen. Wasn't the bounce for us. Um, so we had to stay calm, stay collected, and we had to wait for some opportunities in the third. Uh, when we got them, we made good on them, um, and that was a big moment for us. Uh, you know, the penalty kill's been big for you. You know, we've talked about it yeah. all week, but really that five on three there at the end of the second period, it seemed like that kind of, you know, turned the momentum in your favor. Yeah, you know, it, it was a, an unfortunate one there, so we, we had to get a big stand. We went over our five on three today um, since we had three five on three. Uh, on Wednesday um, so we made a big stand on that and that was important for us and then um, you know our power play hit a, hit a post in the second um, and other than that our power play we, we took ourselves off a few times we're gonna have to be a little smarter yeah so John kind of already alluded to it but it looked like it was gonna be a chess match there for those first two periods and that big five on three and then the big third just it's been the story of this team all year but just talk about the compete level yeah you know the compete's there you know it's playoff time um, I thought the compete was there for both teams um, it's just making sure you're doing the right things um, you know especially at the start of the shift you know what you're doing. Uh, it's the end of the shift um, when fatigue can set in a little bit, especially with the amount of hockey both teams have played. Um, you really got to see each shift through. Um, and at the end of the shift, uh, you have to manage some pucks, you have to stay physical and uh, make sure you know where you're putting the puck for the next line to go get it.
you know, your top line now, uh, two goals today, two goals Wednesday. You know, how important is it to just have your top line be performing the way they are right now? Well, which ones are top lines, Johnny? The, the, the Cassie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what? We, we have a lot of depth in our lineup, and, um, you know, that line's been outstanding. Um, you know, they've been uh, setting the tone with those goals for us to build off. Um, and then I think some other guys have really stepped up, too. Uh, obviously, um, you know, I think the, the Samuelson, McParland, uh, McClure line, then they got the third one. Um, you know, so those two lines stepping up offensively. Um, you know, obviously the Shemp line's been doing an outstanding job playing a heavy, hard-nosed D. Um, you know, so that's been a real big factor for us. You know, when Tulsa got that goal, their goal, uh, could have been a bit of a momentum shift, but, you know, the cross-check kind of seemed like it took that momentum away. You know, did, yeah. you, did you feel that way, you know, too? You know what? I, I, I thought of all the looks, um, you know, to give. I thought our D zone coverage on that goal was tight. Um, it was kind of a seeing eye puck where you know Sholey didn't see it even to the final end of it. So I was like, hey, we had good coverage. Guys are boxing out, we're battling. You know, goals will be scored in playoffs, and that was a playoff type goal. Uh, but then, like you said, they took a penalty right away. We were able to collect ourselves, and um, you know, we were able to you know get through the final ten there, playing pretty hard. You know, isn't it encouraging to you? I mean, I don't want to say encouraging, but um, you know, you, you guys are playing the way you are, but your power play still hasn't come on. Is it kind of you, you're encouraging in the way that you know it's got to come on sooner? Yeah, because we're still getting looks, and you know, obviously, you want to get a few in, um, especially as you know, as tight as the series has been. Um, you know, like I said, you know, McClure hit the crossbar very early in that second power play, and um, you're thinking, hey, maybe it's going to break for us right there. It was a good play and a good shot. Uh, hit crossbar and out, and then I think uh, um, we got a penalty. Uh, Luke Kelsey got a penalty, and we never finished the power play. So um, it, it is what it is. We're going to have to stay on it. You know, we're working every day on it. Um, we're adjusting to what we think can help, um, and the guys, you know, they're still believing. Um, we've had success on it all year. We had a very good power play. It was one of our strengths. Um, we're going to have to find a way to push through. Um, and the thing is, you're not going to be able to go from 7% to 25 in one game. So you try and chip away. You try and get one. You know, Maybe the next game you get one or you build momentum. Then the next game you chip away. And that's all you can do. It's no different than the regular season. Um, you know, Power plays can fluctuate early. Um, when a lot of, not a lot of games have been played. You have one or two good nights and all of a sudden you feel you're like you're unstoppable. So um, we just got to stay level-headed with it. Um, bear down when we get our chances, but uh, know it's part of the process. One, one game at a time and now you, you but but you're halfway there you know do you kind of use that as a milestone as a marker or do you still you know what's not even so much yeah. um you know for me it, it's just about um, you know, the next day, um, and we just want to earn our next day. And right now, we earned an opportunity to travel. We earned an opportunity to go on the road, uh, and we're excited about that. And then uh, we try and earn another day.